First of all, let me ask you, um, who would you consider to be your leader today? Do you have any leaders? Uh, of course, of course. You know, I look, I look to um, in, in different in different ways. I look to different people as leaders, but just as um, you know, like for example, like I they, to me, it is ludicrous to deny the fact that uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is the leader of Black people in America. I don't think that there is any possible way anybody can dispute that logically with, with with fact you can feel like he's not your leader but there's no other person who has demonstrated himself to be a leader of black people in this country um more than the honorable minister louis farrakhan right but i'm not in the nation of islam or anything like that but i still look to him as the leader of black people because who else is right um but like me personally as spiritual leaders um elders like elder priest kahan from light of zion um chief minister shalama you know, brothers like that uh, definitely is who I look to as a uh, as leader. Uh -oh. you, you might get you might get some backlash from that one, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I you went to Farrakhan. <laughs> I know, you but might I get that. backlash on that one, bro. I just got to be real. You know, we, we just got to be <laughs> real and understand that. You know, there's mm. no brother that's been that's that's done what he's done. Is the only other person you can say is is Dr. Khalid, and, and you know, of, of course, unfortunately, he's not here with us anymore. So. Right. Who else uh, other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has been able to do what he's done and, right. and represent as long as he has? We, we just got to give it up. It's not even about, oh, he into Islam. Brother. No, it ain't even about that. He's a man of people. Now, you know there are still um, members from the, ori the original leaders of One West. They are still, you still got some of the brothers that are still alive. Who will I give for leaders? All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. This lesson will be entitled, Who Will I Give for Leaders? All right. And I'm um, just going to go right into a lesson. Um, in case you haven't heard or, or saw, well, you, you have heard by now because I just played the sound bite for you. You got this guy, Al Azar from Sakari. He was on the show with Sa Netter. Again, I don't know why. But whatever, you know, people got to do what they do. And basically he was asked, who did he look to for leadership in not so many words? And he, he proceeded to say, and you heard it, Minister Louis Farrakhan, which is a complete left field, curveball, messy shit, whatever you, whatever you can think of. Erroneous statement, boneheaded, wicked, underhanded, backstabbing. And just, and just plain fucking stupid. Just to be honest. All right? And we're going to tell you the reason why. Now, anybody that's been following the, you know, the Hebrew Israelites for a while, you know of Sakari, and you know they've done many boneheaded things. A lot of questionable shit. A lot of questionable behavior, including different weird-ass doctrines, okay? Not completely weird, but a little off doctrines. One thing that you always notice, and I'm seeing it more and more now with these different Israelites is that they're this 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 atmosphere where any Israelite can be accepted it doesn't matter what you follow particularly it don't matter what doctrine it doesn't matter who you who you came up under even if you black consciousness you can be a gangster you can be a, a gangster bitch you can be a pimp a hoe a thief a robber a goddamn rapper it don't make no difference they accept everybody and that's not what the truth is about and I'm not saying that Sakari allowed anybody in they, into their camp, but when you look at the comment boards of their videos, now I don't know if this is Sarnet. I guess this is Sarnet's comment board. I don't know for sure, but when you when you go into Sakari comment board, you see all different kind of Israelites, different calling on different names of gods, right? Yeah, I guess it's Sarnet's you know video. I see it up in the corner, but you notice that with with Sakari because they they come from different angles. They even have unity camps. With different with Israelites with different doctrines and this this type of notion in your mind where every Israelite is your brother don't matter what God you know or what uh, doctrine they follow that is complete bullshit okay now at the end of the day you can do whatever you want to do all right but we, the main thing we're gonna focus on you can do whatever you want to do but if you did if you with Great Millstone you following one doctrine the same doctrine and that's it if you're doing anything else you, we, you are not considered our brother or sister we don't look at you as you know as a brother or sister if you ain't following 100 percent truth your ass can kick rocks now the main thing i want to focus on 
is this whole business with you know him saying and the him I'm talking about is uh Alazar. Him saying that uh Farrakhan is the leader of black people. Well that, well that might be true. He might be the leader of black people, but as for Hebrew Israelites, Farrakhan is not our leader. I don't follow no Farrakhan. I don't know any brother that does that Islam shit. How you gonna let how you gonna say Farrakhan is is the leader when he follows a false god? You might as well say Creflo Dollar T D Jakes is your guy is your uh, leader. And it's really I don't know I don't know exactly what Alazar was trying to accomplish, you know. On the one hand, I'm thinking we supposed to jump in and make all these videos and rebuke him and talk shit about Farrakhan, whereas the Islam people will come in, they're gonna you know how Islam people are. That's a heavy demon. You know, a heavy demon and they're a bunch of carnal, carnal brutes. And Farrakhan is a false prophet. And on top of that, he's bought and paid for. Because when you read the book, the black pope, uh, Peter Hans Kovenbach, there's a passage in there where they talk about Farrakhan being hired by the elites. And I believe it, okay? He's just another false prophet, just like a damn a pimp. I won't say a pimp because a pimp is, you know, a street level nigga. But he's just another false prophet like this standard Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes. He's a controlled opposition. He's not our leader. The Most High is not dealing with Farrakhan. As a matter of fact, Farrakhan is a two-third. The where it stands right now, Farrakhan is, is a top two-third. Okay? Anyway, let's deal with some scriptures. I, I rambled enough. I wanted to say that. Okay? Let's get a few scriptures here. And the scriptures tell us that who the leader should be. And I can't, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I want to get the point across that ain't nobody that's not in the truth gonna lead the Israelites anywhere. They're, for one, the only Israelites that the Lord is concerned with is the elect. And Farrakhan is nowhere around dealing with the elect. He knows about the Israelites. He knows who we are, right? He knows about the chariots and all of that, but he still follows a false God, period. And ain't nobody following no false God, no leader of the Israelites, which is the most High's chosen. The elect, the elect are not going to be led by no false prophets. Okay? So let's go right to the scripture. This is right here, Second Ezra. And I'm going to start at the second of this chapter one. It's going to answer the question for you. Who will I give for leaders? We're going to show you right now. All right? And all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, if I didn't say that. Who are the leaders of the house of Israel, period. Now, and the reason I'm saying this is because of what this scripture says. First, second Ezra chapter one, verse 38. Let's read these three verses. It says, and now, brother, behold, what glory and see the people that coming from the east. Who are the people that coming from the east? They are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not fucking black people. That's another thing that burns me up. You keep hearing this black people narrative. Fuck the black people. OK, we live. We're dealing with the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel who, who make up or who the 12 tribes of Israel are represented by the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and those who may not look like Israelites, but go back to those people. And now, brother, behold, what glory and see the people that coming from the east and that people is the Israelites and to whom I will give for leaders. The Most High is saying, I'm going to give my people leaders. Who are they? Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Osseus. Amos, Micah, Joel, Abdus, Jonas, and Jonas, Nahum and Abacuc, Sophonias, Agias, uh, Zachary, and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. So the Lord said he sent the prophets for leaders. Those that are in the truth, those that are born again, those that are inspired by the word of the Lord, those that have, you know, the lineage of the house of Israel, right? Both, uh, Physically and spiritually While Farrakhan may have the lineage of an Israelite Which I even doubt that Okay And I got my own reasons for saying that Which I even doubt that But while he may be an Israelite He's a wicked Israelite That's following another philosophy and a false God And he is not one of the prophets He's not to be trusted He's not to be accepted You know that dude is I don't know He's steeped in all kind of wickedness So the Lord answered the question already Who will I give for leaders? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the prophets of the Lord. And now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that are coming from the east and to whom I will give for leaders. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Osseus, which is Hosea. Amos and Micah, which is Micah. Joel, Abdias, which is Obadiah. And Jonas, 
Nahum and Abacook, which is Habakkuk, Sophonius or Zephaniah, Agias, Haggai, Zachary, which is Zechariah, and Malachi or Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Okay? So you got the prophets for leaders. That's who the Lord wants leading his people. That's who the Lord put his spirit on. And if you say otherwise, then you ain't a, you ain't a, a prophet either. These fucking fitted hats and all the antics and the Hebrew and the Hellcat and the fitted hats and the stupid ass rap music and the videos and the black identity crisis, black identity extremist t-shirts and all the, all the bullshit, man. We're tired of it. It's over with, you know. There's so many different things. And this dude now, he's so trying to be so damn high up. And that's just, that's okay. The, the, you know, the Lord is really going to do a number on you Israelites that love to go on these fucking debates, on these goddamn interviews. Y'all trying to big yourself up, trying to make yourself be this important person. Your opinion matters. Every time something going on, you popping up at an event. It's very fucking agent-like. And you've been rubbing elbows with these black consciences assholes. Sarnetta is a demon, okay? And, and then on top of that, you wouldn't name other Israelites who I can't even tell you who they are. How in the fuck are they leaders? Somebody from the light of Zion. Really? The fucking light of Zion, them dudes were nowhere around when the apostles started teaching us and when we got on the internet on YouTube in 2007. The light of Zion was nowhere around. And I couldn't name three of them. And they ain't out there like that. I mean, maybe now, because the truth getting, you know, notoriety, you're going to have these certain guys pop up. And, and by all means, Khalid Muhammad, before he passed away, he also wasn't our leader. What the fuck are you talking about, man? You know? This is fucking, this really, at the end of the day, that whole thing, in my opinion, and I'm just a man, it was a slight, okay? It was a slap in the face, you know? It was a thumb in your nose. It was a flick. It was a flick off, a flip off. It was a fucking slight, and I'm, I'm hot about it, but, you know, you can't really be that surprised, you know? Compromised individuals and fucking demons are going to do compromised individuals and demon shit. It's just what they do, you see? Then when they get rebuked and start hollering about, oh, y'all hate, you hate your brother. Fuck you. You ain't my brother, you damn demon. And I'm talking about that dude, Alazar, okay? And, and a lot of you is like, you watch us, you watch them, you're going to go, as soon as we say something, you're going to run over and take the, take the link. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? This shit is, is ridiculous. And you're just going to keep going for anything. We can't wait until the Lord brings that destruction. Where a bunch of motherfuckers gonna drop off the earth The Lord gonna kill a whole lot of Israelites Because you are fucking You got a split loyalty demon on you Which means you ain't really about the most high A lot of Israelites are choosing to go their own path Motherfuckers is crying and whining about getting rebuked Right? You think that we gotta love you Your ass following all kind of doctrines But then you wanna kind of hold us hostage with love We do not love you We do not love you Okay? Period. If you follow another doctrine, if you running hard after the world, you want to go on them damn interviews, lift yourself up in pride, uh, make a mixtape. We don't love you, and we ain't going to help you when shit hit the fan. Don't fucking come crying to us. This is the word slight. Slight. It says, now it ain't dealing with the physical and slight. All right, we're going to go to the verb. It says, insult someone by treating or speaking of them without proper respect or attention. And you know goddamn well. And if you got a problem with my language, just don't fucking watch me ever again. I'm not going to change how I teach, how I talk. Okay? I'm not going to do it. Not for your little virgin ears. Your punk ass, weak black people with feminine ears. I'm not worried about it. You can't judge me. You can't say nothing about us bringing these words out of the, out of the book and how we teach it. Insult someone by treating or speaking of them without proper respect or attention. And that's the whole problem. Here it is. You learned everything you know. You learned how to break scriptures down, how to make videos, how to go into the blue letter, how to do all these different things from the Apostles of Great Millstone. Then you're going to go say, Louis Farrakhan is your leader. What an idiot. What an asshole. What a Muppet baby. This shit is, is ridiculous, man. So you didn't show the proper respect or attention to the Apostles of Great Millstone, whom we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sent to teach us. Okay? Now it goes on, noun, an insult caused by a fair to show someone proper respect or attention. And if I know Jake, they're going to make this thing seem like, oh, you just mad because he didn't mention your elders. Fuck you. You don't know us. If you know the truth, you know who it is that's been bleeding, sweating, right, with tears, praying for us, teaching us, giving us everything that we needed to be proper teachers, to go out on the highways and hedges. Everything that we learned, we learned it from a group of men 
known as the apostles of Great Millstone, and then the elder bishops under them, and then the elders under them, and then the big brothers under them, and so on and so forth. We didn't learn it from no fucking Farrakhan. Farrakhan didn't sit there with you and break down the Gentiles. He didn't tell you what the lake of fire was. He didn't tell you about the chariots. He didn't tell you about Esau, your enemy. He didn't break the revelation, uh, the, the deepest books of revelation, all the books. He didn't break down, the, they didn't break down the 12 tribes unto you. They didn't give you 2nd Ezra chapter 11, chapter 12, Daniel chapter 7. They didn't break, he didn't break that down to you. He ain't did nothing to you. He didn't even tell you who you were. He didn't even tell you where you come from. All he told you to worship a damn moon god. But now some type of way he's your leader. Yeah, okay, you can fuck off and kick rocks. Let's read something else. And you and, and, and forgive me, you know. This shit got me hot. As soon as I heard it, I was like, I couldn't even really even address it. I've been, mar you know, moping around all day trying to figure out what the title was going to be and what I can bring out. You know, what, what I can, you know, how I can try to keep this heat in check. This is Isaiah chapter 9. In verse 14, listen to this. It says, Therefore the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and honorable, he is the head, and the prophet that teaches lies, he is the tail. You hear that? That's what it's supposed to be. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. The leaders that have been set up by this society, by this world, even in the house of Israel. The ones that you want to set up, they are all liars. They're teachers of lies. When you deal with Farrakhan, when you deal with them Baptists, with any, any Islam, any person that's dealing with Islam is darkened. They don't know what's going on. They're not the people of the book. Well, you know what? You got many of them that are people of the book, but they're following another nation's religion, another nation's God. You're following the God of the Ishmaelites, and you're going to raise this, you're going to lift this man up and say he's the leader. And I know Sakari knew what he was doing. That was that was a, a well thought out thing. That dude is, this guy, I'll, I'll give him credit. On some level, he is a smart dude. He does know the scriptures on some, on some level, right? But the pride got to him too much. And he's a, he's a rebel and he is out of his mind, okay? He's out of his mind. He's a wicked man in my opinion. He is a wicked dude. And I wouldn't follow him nor anybody that he follows. Anyway, let's read it again. It says, For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. That's what the Lord brought. And the Most High was the one that did it. He set up these wicked leaders because he was proving a point, right? The Most High was the one. Let's go there real quick. Let's go to Job and let me let me read the scripture. Job 12 and 16. And Jake just don't have any fucking respect. Job 12 and 15, it says, Behold, he withholded the waters and they dry up. Also he sent them out and they overturned the earth. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So we know that the left hand of the Most High is allowing these things to happen. And we really got no issue with that. But you know what? We still have our job to do. And when the left-handed niggas step forward, we got to step forward with the right hand. We got to come forward with the truth and bring it out. And break these things down because you got a lot of J. Yeah, Yo, you know what? You're right. I always did like Farrakhan. You stupid niggas. Farrakhan is a demon, a false prophet on the take. He's getting a lot of money over there. He's doing a lot of wickedness and never have he, has he even uttered the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you know what? We ain't listening to that guy. I wouldn't give a shit if the whole world followed Farrakhan. If all the Israelites left the truth or they said we in the truth and Farrakhan's our leader, I can tell you one group that ain't going to follow that, that nigga. Great Millstone ain't gonna have nothing to do with it. I would not follow no Farrakhan. When they had the Million Man March and all these niggas was running, jumping, going there, he ain't never told you he was no Israelite. All these so called black groups and black consciousness and black, 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 the Lord gonna destroy all of you. All you that don't repent as Israelites and come back to the true and living God, you are gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be destroyed. I don't give a damn how much you protest. This is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Concerning the concerning elders. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. The doctrine is right there. Is Farrakhan labored in the word and doctrine? No. Is Farrakhan laboring to tell you your Israelites to give you the prophecy? No. Is Farrakhan concerned about your soul? Is he trying to help you learn how to repent, learn the ways of the Lord, learn what righteousness really is? No, no, no. And he is not no leader that nobody's going to follow. And neither is none of these other weird-ass Israelites. 
period. If the apostles and the elders of the great millstone are not the leaders of Israel, I'm not following, period. I'm not going to follow you. I'm not going to follow any leader that you suggest because I know who it was that taught us, came with the spirit of the Lord and pulled us out of the fire through the spirit and power of your Yahweh Shem and Yahweh Shai. If we be saved, if we make it, we're going to make it through the 100% doctrine. And that's the only way. That's the only way. 1 Timothy 5, 17, let the elders that rule well be kind of worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. And anybody got balls enough to say, oh, you just said it, you man, please, you man, you can kick rocks, you can fuck off. Why are you so worried about what I believe? Why are you so worried about what I'm doing? Me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And I don't give a damn. I will make a, a damn. If the Lord give me the power, I will run over you. I will go through a brick wall. I will go to Mount Everest. I will do whatever I have to do to lift up this truth and you ain't gonna stand in the way. You can't tell us what to do. We ain't following no fucking Farrakhan. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. There it is. And you can even even easy, easily identify who that is on the planet. It's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, period. Period. Like, the, you know, they say women say it, but I'm saying it too, and I ain't no woman. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse eight despise not the discourse of the wise but acquaint thyself with their proverbs now you may say well Farrakhan is wise man nah, from a worldly standpoint and then he and then on top of that he's he always break trying to go into the scriptures and he breaking stuff down wrong he doesn't have the spirit of the lord he doesn't acknowledge the israelites or the 12 tribes even though his book says that the 12 tribes are going to be the rulers right everything belongs into the house of israel and he knows this but you know what he getting, he getting that paper. He getting a lot of money over there. So whatever. Can't wait till the Lord shut these false prophets mouth and those that follow them, you're going to be destroyed. Despo despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. Where do the proverbs come from? Do they come from the Quran? No, they don't. Do they come from anybody that, that followed that false God? No. Khalid Muhammad was not a prophet. He was not a man of the Lord. For of them thou shalt learn instruction and in how to serve great men with ease. I'll tell you this. Even Alazar know, know the scriptures better than Farrakhan does. You call him a leader? Yeah, okay. You, you wish. And, he, and them other dudes you named from the light of Zion, these other groups, whatever, they don't know the scriptures either. You ain't seen them come forth with no knowledge. I already told you who it was that broke down Daniel. Who broke, you know, Daniel chapter 7, all them heavy chapters. Right? Who was it that broke down 2nd Edges 11 and 12? Even to this day. Even Bishop Nate can't do it. He he broke down, broke it down wrong. Hell, I follow Bishop Nate before I follow damn Farrakhan, and I ain't gonna follow Bishop Nate because he wicked. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learn of their fathers. You hear that? Who was it that learned of the fathers? Who told us about the men that came before us, before them? Who learned? Who taught us the Paleo Hebrew? Who taught us what it was? Who taught us Lashwan Kodash? It's the same thing. Who taught us that? Who taught us the days of the week in Hebrew, the Hebrew calendar, how to properly chart the Sabbath? Farrakhan, black ass, was nowhere around. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers, and of them, the leaders of them, thou shalt learn understanding, and to give answer as need requireth. There you go. You can't argue with the scriptures. You can do all the little pretentious bullshit on them little media sites and all that. Nobody cares. Nobody's feeling it. Really. Whew. I tell you, fuck you, Jake. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of the anointed. Who said this? Who, who said this? Was this the prophet Muhammad, the fake, the false ass prophet? No, it wasn't. Was this Khalid Muhammad? No. Was this the honorable, what's the dude name? Um, I can't remember the dude that, that came before. Malcolm X. I forget these people's names. The stupid Kufis and all that. No, it wasn't none of them. It was the Apostle Paul who was sent by who? Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see, that's who he was sent by. By Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're to follow their examples. We're to follow the examples of the men in the, in, in the scriptures. Farrakhan ain't keeping that. He ain't keeping nothing that's got to do with the ancient Israelites. Nothing to do with our people as a whole. He's not helping anyone. You ain't seen him do nothing to help the Israelites, but you, but you, he's a leader of black people. Okay. Yeah. He's a leader of void of light people. You're absolutely right. First Corinthians 11 and one, be you followers of me, 
even as I also am of the anointed. There you go. Period. Period. You know, an exclamation. If you if you like that better. Now, let's read another one here. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You ain't never seen Pharaoh Khan in a camp, open up the Bible, teaching it, breaking it down to nobody, explaining it to nobody about, you know, how to repent of their sins, where eternal life comes from, how they can get it, right? How uh, uh, we gonna get in the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be ours. None of that. That we got inheritance coming, that we gonna be changed, get new bodies. You ain't heard Pharaoh Khan break nothing down to nobody. How in the hell is he a leader? And thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, you're going to see the men out there. And all these camps being set up, all this teaching coming forth, it didn't come forth from no fucking Farrakhan. Okay? No penguin in a, in a suit parading around with his hair slicked back to the side with them damn glasses on with a thousand niggas marching around. None of them know the scriptures. None of them born again. They had nothing. They have nothing to do with us, and I, and it's really it's really suspect, just to hear you say it, to bring it up, the stupid look on your face when you said it, all of that, all that shit is folly, man. And 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 Sardinetta, he said that you're gonna experience kickback from this. And you said you know, but you keeping it real. You ain't keeping it real. You keeping it, you keeping it stupid. That's how you keeping it. Second, John one verse nine. This is the last scripture I'm gonna read, and this tells you unequivocally. You couldn't possibly be an Israelite and, and follow another Israelite with different doctrines. You couldn't follow a leader from another group that had a different doctrine than you, according to this. So you damn sure can't follow a Christian, a Muslim, a Buddhist. Why don't we just fucking follow, uh, you know, the president of the United States or some other weirdo? By your admission, we could have followed Grandmaster Jay, that weirdo and bug out. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, how about Shimmy Howard Shah is going to do some nasty, nasty things coming up. And we're ready to see it. It's going to shake these niggas to the core. And at that point, Lord willing, it'll be too late for you to repent. You won't be able to. Allah Shadra will make another appearance. 2 John 1 verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of the anointed hath not the most high. He that abideth in the doctrine of the anointed, he hath both the father and the son. These Islam niggas don't even believe that there's a son of the almighty. They don't believe that. They don't believe it. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed. For he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. So you know what? If they ain't, how, if you can't even receive another Israelite with a different doctrine, how in the fuck do you think you're going to be able to say that somebody from another, a whole nother religion who worship another God, Right, with all that different weirdo black magic stupid shit is gonna be able to lead Israelites. And not only that, there are many scriptures that tell us we can't even make covenants with these people, we can't follow them, we got nothing to do with their false gods, period. And you knew you was going off for of saying it, you know, but you still wanted to do it. You still did gorilla Hebrew, yeah, okay. Gorilla in the mind, fucking weirdo, man. Jake, you stay going off. You stay going off. We're gonna see a lot more weirdo curveballs you know coming from left field we're gonna see more of this stuff just prepare yourselves brothers and then, you know next time i'll do a better job of not being so angry about it you know lord willing lord willing anyway that's the lesson